Hi everybody. All right, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to do a F test to sample for variance, and that will be um, problem number two on with problem set four. All right, the goal of this test is to turn is to determine which t test to use. One either for the um, if the null hypothesis is accepted, you would use the t-test of equal variance, means the groups are basically the same. Or if they come up unequal, um, if, if you do reject the null hypothesis, except the alternative hypothesis, then you would use the t-test for unequal variance. I already worked out the, pro the problem, but I'll see if I can replicate it again. All right, your first goal, of course, is to set up your da data into the co columns. And I got them right here. Next, what you want to do, which is uh, I think it's a good practice, because you want to check your uh, data to make sure it's okay. I worked out, get that off there. I worked out the uh, means, and basically all I did was just go to a average in your formulas to um, more functions and you can see the average right right there the function so I already worked out the averages before I even did the complete operation and I also since we're working with variances I also want to do the variances and and again in the formula tabs under more function under statistical find the variance which is basically down at the bottom there and you can do the Var, var, variance. All right, um, and I checked them just to see what they were. Now, the rule of the F test is, once you work it out, and I since I worked out the variance, if you want the variance that is the greatest, in this case in score two, you want that to be in your range one, and then the variance that's the least, that would be in your range two. So let's see how we do do, do this. First you have to go up to da data if you're using Excel of course. Go to the data analysis and that is in your tool pack. Let's bring this up here. Alright, good. And here's your F uh, test for two sample of variance and if you scroll down further you can see the um, t-test for equal variance and the t-test for unequal variance. And that would be your next project to do uh, if you're going to run a t-test. So let's click click, click on here. I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to move this over slight, slightly. There you go. Find a good spot. Oh, this is a better spot. All right, good. Now um, I'm going to get rid of all this information because I was doing a little bit of practice. All right, since I already know that score 2 has the gr greater variance, that's going to be my variable range 1. So I'm going to highlight the first cell, and I'm going to do shift control down arrow key. Now, I don't want those other variants, so maybe I should just uh, scroll, scroll down like that and just do the same. For score one. Now, I since I use labels, I make sure it's checked. Our alpha level will be 0 0.05. That's your standard alpha level. And I want to put an output. And where's a good spot? Oh, let's put it right here so we can um, compare. And everything looks fine. Let's see if we come up with the same, if, if I re replicate. I'm going to move this over slightly. And large. And and so they're at least readable numbers for you all. Let's see. That's good. And I want to make it a little back. All right. So I did replicate what I what you got here. If we move this out a little bit, it would be full re replication. All right. So I, so I did it um, just to just to see if I could do 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 it again. All right. What you want to look at now is you want to compare your F statistic to your F critical. 
and the F critical on the um, normal um, curve, the bell-shaped curve, would be at the 2.48 or 4.9. And since the F statistic is less than the F cr critical, it falls within the um, accept the no hypothesis. In other words, the two groups are pretty e even. They 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 match they match up well, and therefore, scroll this down. Since f one point um, six six two, I rounded is less than the f critical of two point four eight. It falls within the region except the no hypothesis. You, now you know you can use the t test assuming variance are equal. And if you need to, by any chance, um, put it on a two-tailed test, all you need to do um, is just um, take the P va value here and times two, and this is what you come up with. And here are your the critical limit too. But let's just look at the um, one-tailed test. So it's a pretty simple operation, and Make sure, and you now you can work out two more problems on your own, which I already gave you the answers, and let's see if you can replicate that. All right, that's about all I have to say. This is Dr. Chazen, signing off.